Radio, Radio Daily Preview, Rob O'Gorman and Pete Mercado here looking forward to the men's singles final and what a match it promises to be. But first, briefly looking back and Serena Williams, a three-set winner in the women's singles final last night over Justine Enner. Pete, it was a great match. It certainly was and it lived up to all the build-up that we had, Rob, and a fantastic win by Serena. She was pushed, particularly in that second set where we saw the Justine Enner of old. It's like she never left the game, but just in the end, Serena, too big too powerful and too consistent over an erratic end and particularly in that third set just managed to get the the upper hand and a great win for the number one seed she's finally gone back to back here at Melbourne Park after having a year on a year off a year on a year off and that'll set her up nicely for the year and Justine Ennen in her two tournaments in her comeback so far she's been runner-up in both so I think after the disappointment clears of losing the final she'll be very happy and be very proud of what she's achieved and it'll set her up for a big 2000 2010. Now we turn our attention to the final day of the tournament and the evening session kicks off with a twilight match. It's the mixed doubles final. We have Cara Black and Leander Pays, the top seeds in the draw, taking on Ekaterina Makarova and Yaroslav Levinsky of the Czech Republic. Can you see an upset here? Uh, no, I think the number one seeds will get through Cara Black and Leander Pays. They're a strong combination, experienced combination. Ekaterina Makarova and Yaroslav Levinsky have done very well to get to this stage, but uh, they're taking on a very experienced pair who have won plenty of Grand Slam titles between them and Cara Black has already played on Rod Laver Arena in the doubles final where they went down, uh, Black and Huber to the Williams sisters, uh, she won't want to repeat that again, I think it'll go to a match tie break though, the third set in the mixed doubles is a match tie break and I think it will be a win to the number one seeds in the mixed doubles. And we finish off the tournament with a fantastic matchup. Roger Federer, the world number one, the runner-up last year here at Melbourne Park, taking on Andy Murray. The second time they've met in a Grand Slam final. Will it be the same result? Uh, I think it will be a win for Roger Federer. Yes, he'll do it in four sets. Andy Murray, well, if you had have asked me on Thursday who I thought was going to win... I would have said Andy Murray on the way he played in that semi-final, but then Roger came out and showed why he is the world number one and the dominant force in tennis. So I had to lean back to Roger Federer. It'll be four sets. It'll be four tough sets. There'll be a couple of tie breaks in there as well, but I think Roger will show plenty of experience. Andy Murray won't be disgraced. It'll be a close final, and he'll have all the tricks in the bag ready to go, but I just think Roger has that edge just slightly and will end up being a four-set final and Roger will end up winning in the end, winning another Grand Slam title. Murray leads the head-to-head -head record, but it's in the finals that Roger has really turned it on and uh, you would expect that uh, in, in the Grand Slam final, the final match of the Australian Open, he will again be at his best. Well, he certainly will. He goes up a gear for the Grand Slams and has really shown some intent and purpose. He's fairly relaxed. The family life's going well for him, despite the fact he doesn't get too much sleep these days and I just think that'll be enough to get over the line in what will be a very very close match but I still think Roger in four. The coverage of that match begins at 7.30pm Melbourne time. Don't miss a minute at australianopen.com 99.7 FM and on the official Australian Open iPhone app you can hear live coverage on AO Radio. Pete Mercado, great tipping during the tournament. Well done. Thank you very much. I think I've got some of them right anyway over the course of the two weeks but it's been great to be here. Great to have you along and watching our AO Radio daily preview and tune in for the final match of the tournament, Federer versus Murray.